Hello and welcome back. Thank you for joining us on this very chilly day today. I'm Douglas. I'm Alistair. And this is the Highland Hikers. So today we're we're out east, aren't we? We're in sort of Fife area to do not Ben Lomond, but West Lomond. So we're at the Lomond Hills and we have a nice uh, good leg stretch today. Nothing too dramatic or in, you know, nothing that's gonna really, really push us, but it should be a very interesting walk nonetheless. We have a few sights to see along the way as taken in as well as taking in the summit of uh, West Lomond. So Looking forward to seeing this big stain. Yeah, the bonnet stain. I don't actually know much about it. Yeah. Um, the route I thought we were doing today didn't actually include <laughs> it, uh, but fortunately you knew where we were going. Yeah. yeah we're going to see that. We're going to see the bonnet stain. We're going to see this, uh, this wee old bothy apparently carved into the side of the rock underneath it. Uh, like I said, we'll get to the summit and we're also going to see some nice waterfalls on the return route. Um, so I think it's going to be a good day. Uh, we started Hi. quite late on. The sun is out, it's freezing, but we've got sunglasses out because it's so bright just now. Um, but yeah, we've got, what, just under about, 10 kilometers? Yeah, and like 400 meters of ascent. So three to four hours, a wee afternoon walk, hopefully back at the car before it gets dark. Yes, <laughs> fingers crossed, because yeah. I don't have a torch today. <laughs> Good planning ahead. So yeah, always plan ahead, don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> You can see behind us uh, the the famous bonnet stain, uh, which is sort of rock formation that was millions of years of erosion that it took to actually form that sort of mushroom shape behind us. I think some some daring people do try and get up and stand on top of it, but there's quite a gap to get over to it, so I'm not quite sure how you'd go about doing that. It's a big a big jump. Aye. Or I could just toss you. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody tosses a dwarf. <laughs> So this is the Maiden's Bower and it's a bit of a wee bit of a mystery as to what this wee room that's carved into the side of this uh, rock formation is. Apparently um, it was the meeting place for uh, young lovers who uh, were from rival families. This was a secret meeting place that they came and one evening uh, the woman came up and saw her, basically her boyfriend being slain by her own father's men and she vowed never to go back to the family home after that and live the rest of her life in this tiny wee cave here. So is this a bit of a, a Romeo and Juliet type story then? Yeah almost without quite as much uh, <laughs> quite as much death but uh, I think the real reason for this uh, place is it was um, almost like a wee bothy for uh, a shepherd who was looking after the lands round about here and that's where it would go, just to, to get warm, get a wee bit of grub. Uh, so I think probably the more likely, but you know, which one's the better story? So we've come off the summit of West Lomond. It was pretty windy up the top there. Too windy for flying the drone or trying to do <laughs> a wee chat to the camera. So we've come down the hill a wee bit um, and thought we'd stop here in the, the nice sunshine that we've got going on. 
yeah, we had some uh, really nice views from up there. Not the tallest of hills, only 522 meters, but certainly in the surrounding area, there's not really anything taller than it. So you get some nice views out across the Tay to Dundee, and you can see down to Loch Leven as well, um, which was looking kind of stunning with the sun behind it. You get nice reflections off of the loch. Yeah, I think it helps just that the kind of countryside here is just what I would call flat because <laughs> yeah. like the west coast of Scotland it's just mountainous most of the time once you get north of Glasgow Aye. so this feels really flat although I'm sure to other people this is still pretty hilly yeah <laughs> but uh, it's it's a different it's a different view it's a different feels like you're I don't like to say in a different country, but you know, it's, it's, well, it's quite I mean, a contrast. Some, some might say that the Kingdom of Fife, you know, the Fifers are quite um, patriotic, one might say, so you know, maybe, maybe it could be a different country. Given the John Knox pulpit a bit of a bypass, uh, the main route we've been coming along is very, very high up above it. And you don't get a good view down into it. You have to come a long way past it before you can then go back up. And there are quite a few signposts saying that it's careful of rock falls, dangerous, so. Yeah, there was another path because we were walking along one side of the river, uh, but there was a path on the opposite side that would have gone right past it. But at the point where we crossed over the river, there were signs up saying danger, rock fall, don't go this way. So looks like you do have to go that longer diversion to get round to it if you want to go to it. Yeah. So given a bit of a bypass, we're headed back down the glen and we're heading back towards the car now. The sun's getting low in the sky. Pretty much we're gonna hit a road and we're heading back up at the, the actual single track road to the car. It's not gonna to be too much uh, to see there. So we're gonna bring this one to an end here, but I have enjoyed this relatively easy day out. What about yourself? Yeah, it's been nice. Uh, a short one, as I say, you could do it in the morning or an afternoon. So you don't need the full day to do it, which is quite nice. Uh, it was a pleasant enough walk. There were some steep sections, but not, not too much and not too bad. Yeah. Plenty of people coming up here in their uh, trainers and Aye. joggies. Um, <laughs> we certainly look overdressed. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely with the walking poles and the hiking boots. Yep, we'll see you in the next one then. Take care.